Hi everyone, it's Chantal here, and today we'll explore a topic that's often a pathway to growth, which is feedback. I want to share with you a personal journey and practical steps that you can take to embrace feedback as well. When I was a child, I received a lot of critiques. It made me allergic to any form of feedback. I was trying to be perfect to avoid criticism, but that only made me avoid any sort of critique, even constructive ones. Constructive feedback is there to help you improve, and bad critiques are there to put you down and affect your self-esteem. At that time, whether positive or constructive, feedback acted as a mirror reflecting my actions and work. It felt like a personal attack on my capabilities, you know, back then. And I grew defensive and discouraged. The severe critique from my past made any form of feedback incredibly uncomfortable. But as time passed, I learned to distinguish between critique of my work and an assault on who I was as a person. A while ago, I mean a long time ago, I received a critical remark on my work schedule from my manager. He said I was coming late to work and wanted me to come in earlier to support my newer colleagues on a new project. At first, I felt disappointed and frustrated by his remark, but, you know, I had flexible schedule at that time, so to me there was no problem. But then I thought about it and realized I could improve by un by understanding his point of view without diminishing my value. He was not attacking me. His need was to support my newer colleagues. So we then found a solution that significantly improved the situation. I agreed to come in earlier for two weeks to support my new colleagues. I improved because my value was not at stake and I was happy to help my peers, making the teamwork even more collaborative. I gained from that change, and if I would have kept my position, everybody would, be, would have been uh, unsatisfied. Uh, even me, I had the choice, you know, to act upon the feedback or not, and maintaining the status quo and staying frustrated and misunderstood by my manager. Embracing feedback meant reshaping my perspective entirely. It was about turning constructive criticism into a pathway um, of improvement um, rather than judging my capabilities. This journey involved letting go of the fear of critique and seeing it as an opportunity to grow. Gradually, my approach transformed and instead of shying away from feedback, I started to, um, uh, to evaluate it properly, distinguishing the, uh, the, the, the offensive from the constructive one, and then analyzing objectively. I searched for diverse viewpoints, realizing these perspectives enriched my understanding and fueled innovation. This shift taught me that personal growth involves embracing constructive criticism or feedback. It's not about, um, it's not about eradicating flaws, uh, but about refining ourselves. Here are some practical steps that you can take to embrace feedback. First, mindful reception. Approach feedback with an open mind, separating emotions from critique. Easier said than done, right? But I understand. But it's important to distance the critique from ourselves and look at the situation objectively. For example, take a deep breath and stay calm before saying anything or reacting vividly. Step number two, active listening. Listen attentively, seeking to understand the essence of the feedback. Ask more questions to understand what the critic is about. 
Sometimes the feedback stays on the surface. Try to dig into the reasons behind, behind it to discover the essence. Number three, extracting insights. Identify actionable points for improvement rather than dwelling on negatives. Our first reaction is often to take it personally. See if there's anything to your advantage to make a change or improve. Step number four, implementing changes. Use feedback as a guide, implementing alterations to enhance your approach or skills. Maybe you would need to take a course to improve a skill that you do not master yet. In embracing feedback, I found a pathway to evolution. It wasn't an easy journey and it's still not easy, especially after being severely critiqued in my past. Constructive criticism or feedback isn't about perfection, but about refinement. Seek insight, not validation. Embrace feedback not as an attack on your being, on yourself, but as a compass directing you toward personal and professional evolution. Let feedback be your ally in your journey toward growth. If you want to adopt a growth mindset, join me in my free mini course, Adopting a Growth Mindset Using the Smart Framework Approach, which means setting goals to adopt a growth mindset. You will learn the benefits of choosing a growth-oriented mindset, setting your goals, and planning to develop your mindset for a successful and fulfilled life. I will provide you the, with the link below. So thank you for tuning in today. Remember that feedback is not a critique on your person. It's a guide toward evolution. Embrace its teaching, apply them diligently, and witness the transformation they bring to your life. So I will see you in the next video, and I wish you the best.